What's happening guys, my name is Anthony and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to master Imola. So if you don't know how my track guys usually go, I would usually take you around the lap slowly, just giving you all the minute details on how to be quick around the circuit, and then I'll show you a lap in real time so you can see how to properly tackle Imola. So without further ado, let's get to this one and teach you guys how to master Imola for your league races and my team races. And I'd like to thank everybody who's on the screen right now for being channel members. If you do want to support the content past just liking and subscribing, make sure to click the join button underneath the video to learn more. Okay again guys, so for the beginning of the lap, you want to take as much curb here as possible just so that you can actually take the widest line. You can get on that throttle a little bit earlier and that will allow you to carry all that speed down into turn one. So fourth gear, be smooth with the throttle using all the curb possible. And then it's just a path of leaf resistance after you open up the RS. You want to take the shortest lines to turn one so that you're not using too much of the track and not gain, uh, losing too much time down this straight because there's no, there's really no need to be using a lot of the track. So coming up to turn one, I like to break out uh, just, just after this curb starts or right around about here. This is probably going to be like, I don't know, something like 80 meters or something like that. Um, you want to use all the curbing on entry. For the first couple of corners, I don't take the curbs since it's a chicane. Um, or at least the amount of times I've taken it and it's just shot me offline. I've lost a lot of time. So I tend not to take this curbing here. Uh, fifth gear, just want to touch it with the left-hand tires. And then same for this right-hander. You want to touch it with the right-hand tires. Be as smooth as you can. On the throttle, I have made a video about traction control. So that will be in the top right-hand side of the, of the screen right now. Make sure to go and watch that if you're struggling with traction control. And then again, you're just going to be shifting up the gears uh, basically flat at this point. And for this next corner, you're going to be in 7th gear going into it. You can be in 8th, but you're probably going to be in 7th. You want to use all of the curb on the entry here. You want to use all the outside curbing in 7th gear. You're going to have a lift. No braking just yet into this corner. So you lift off. Um, I tend to use a little bit more of the curb on this specific corner. Um, just try and keep as, as much to the left as you can so that you can get a better exit out of the right. Uh, this is when you want to brake. Um, not sure how much you want to brake. It's just case of feel to be honest with you with this corner um i just break as much as i need to down into fifth gear and then even before even before i get to the apex i've already got my foot on the throttle or already plan on having my foot on the throttle because you really want to get that good exit it will get you just that bit of time extra going up to the end of sector one here so now that you come now you're coming up to the end of sector one this corner 50 meter board bam on the brakes uh, I, I tend to turn in quite late as you will probably see from the lap i did I tend, I tend to turn quite late into this corner because I found that for me personally, turning late and then just getting on the throttle early, it just gives me that time. So turning late, get on the throttle a little bit earlier. It will give you the time. Use all the exit curb. Uh, you'll be in third gear for that corner. And then for this corner, it's quite a tricky one because it's taken quite quickly. Uh, fifth gear, just after the 50 meter board, you want to shift down into fifth gear. Usually I would mark my tires hitting the red in the Italian curbing here. As sort of the best line so yeah make sure your tires are hitting that red line and you want to be as smooth as possible you want to get on the throttle quite early here because you can carry a lot of speed just as long as you obviously not don't pass this white line you should be good and then you want to form you want to be back onto the left again you don't want to use too much of the track unnecessarily this corner you're going to be going in seventh gear you don't want to break just yet still flat through this corner still flat through this corner and then by the time you get roughly to about here which is around about when you'll be getting to the curb that's when you want to start braking. Brake early because you do want to get on the throttle very early on this corner. I've noticed that if you can get on the throttle early, you make up so much time going up to the next chicane. So brake early, down into fourth gear. Boom, you want to be on the throttle smoothly. It's so tricky, this traction zone. So you do want to be careful. You don't want to practice a lot specifically at that corner. If you need to, you can use all of the exit curb there as well. Now you've got this chicane. Very tricky corner, especially since you need to basically take yeet these two chicanes can spit you out so it's very tricky to to get the line right uh so you got, i think you're gonna be in seventh gear coming into the corner you want to break on the 50 or just after the 50 if you have that confidence uh, so around about there break in a straight line down into fourth gear then you want to completely take this this corner here completely take this curb boom and then again you want to completely take this curb as well in fourth gear all the time or if you can shift down to third gear if you want to to get that stability a little bit and then boom, you want to be on the throttle. Use path of least resistance. You want to be on the insiding here. Then you want to be on the insiding here so that you're not using too much of the track. Now this corner, uh, you could be in seventh gear. You could be in eighth gear. It doesn't really matter which one. You've got the P0 sign just before the 50 meter board right there. That's where you really want to break. Just before you get there, boom, around about 60 meters. 
We want to be breaking in a straight line on this curb because it actually can help you get a better entry uh, into this corner. That one into fourth gear. Then you want to ride over this curb. And then instead of like you did last time getting the best line for the exit, you really just want to get as best of an exit as you can. You don't necessarily need to come out wide. You can turn in early just to get the nose in. Boom. If you can get the, on the throttle earlier, then that's good. You can get that time in and you hit the RS. And that is pretty much a lap of Imola. So what we're going to do is I've shown you how I would take each individual corner over the course of this slow lap. Now I'm going to play the whole thing together in real time so that you can see how to tackle Imola and then we'll move on to the end of the video. Okay then guys, so now that you've learned how to master Imola, it's your turn to go and practice in time trial, in GP mode, or even online, and try and shave your lap times. If you want to check out any of the other track guys, they will be on the screen right about now. Make sure to smash the like button, let me know in the comment section how much time you were able to shave thanks to this track guide. I'll catch you guys in my next video.